yeah, it's about that time. Get ready for this one. You heard me? What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Atlanta and I'm a Meniere with hip hop legend Nelly. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Happy to be here. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. I'm with that. Let's go. Let's do it. Nelly, I want to start in the beginning, like country grammar and Nellyville years, because mm -hmm. it was such a great era for Jordans. It was like a lot yeah. of 11s, the 16s, the 17s yeah. with the briefcases. Talk about like that era of Jordan. Once country grammar came out, yeah. mm, Mike had just came back, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing about the Jordans that's different for guys such as us mm -hmm. is that we really watched him play in them shits. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you watch the game go down. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you put them things on believing it was going to help your game. Definitely. Not help your swag. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, when we got to them Jordans, yeah. it was just about watching him ball in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The dunk contest. Yes. The 88 dunk contest. Yeah. All of that. And it was just like, those are my favorite ones of all time, though. Absolutely. So. And yet, the white cement. Back yes. in the day, you had like 25 pairs. And this was like oh, an no, old I got, interview. I got, but I got a even bunch Big now. Three, you were playing in them recently. Yeah, yeah. So you still have them on ice. Very, 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 very loyal. Okay. I mean, you know, this is like, if you can have one sneaker do or die or whatever yeah. you're doing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, the all white, the 88s, the cements. Yeah, white cements, classic. Yeah. We'll get into some special makeups in the next section, but yeah. one I want to talk about the dirty, Charles Barkley's. They were the, oh. the white, red, and blue in the patent mm -hmm. leather. One of like an early friends and family kind of release, only like a thousand pairs. What was like yeah. the story behind those sneakers? I think, um, you know, we got approached. Obviously, we were doing work with Nikes yeah. coming out of um, Air Force Ones mm -hmm. and everything like that. But, and then, you know, the Barclays was another shoe that I loved. Yeah. I loved the death, and they just asked me about doing something to the, what would I, you know, want to do, and I and I picked that sneaker. Yeah. And I thought the patent leather at that time, I was real excited about patent Yeah, leather. that was the time. Patent leather, anything, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, we kind of flushed it out, man, and, and it was pretty dope. We'll get to Air Force Ones, but is it true that, like, in the beginning, you were more on the hunt for Reebok Classics? Yeah, definitely. I was, um, when I was trying to get my deal, I was living in, actually in Teaneck, New Jersey, but I was in New York every day at this, um, record company called Penalty Records at the time. Okay. Um, my man Cardan was signed, and their biggest artist at the time was Noriega. Okay. I used to hang out with them, and I stayed up there probably longer than I, than I had packed for. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the sneakers was, was getting low and all of that. So I was like, yo, I need to find some some Rees, some Reeboks, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And and it was like, yo, you know, da -da -da, just get you some ones. Yeah. It was just like, like back in St. Louis, we wore Air Forces, don't get it mm -hmm. twisted, but the white ones was kind of like, uh, we would rather do Reeboks because these these were mainly used in the medical field. Okay. Like these are okay. the ones. Where, are you, you went, where you were in St. Louis. To, yeah, okay. if you went to the hospitals, you may saw N nurse, the nurses okay. or something in okay. the You know what I mean? And we never really looked at them like that. So my man caught in and Harlem World and all mm -hmm. of that and Sugar J and the RP Huddy. And yes. all of them was like, yo, you know, go get you some ones, go get you some ones. And I was like, yeah, yeah okay. And um, that's how we started rocking the white ones. Now, Not we were already on colorful. colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. was already rocking color schemes and things like that. But just pure white ones was something that was a little bit like, because we would rather wear uh, Reeboks. That was our go-to white shoe. Got it. The Got Reebok it. classic. And then after the song, how close were you working with Nike? They actually funded the tour? You know, at this time, nah. You see, the, Did you, they fund you, the tour, yeah, Let me tell you something to think about it. And everybody that got Nike shoe deals and all of that need to be thanking us right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because we opened Nike's eyes to a lot of that. Like, at that time, they weren't doing it. They, mm -hmm. they were just basically on some you know, they gonna win regardless. Got now, it. did they donate? Yes, they did donate some to the tour. They mm -hmm. did sponsor some of the things to the tour. Cause one of our tours, we we came out, we had a big the Air Force was coming. One yeah. that used to go across the um, stadium mm -hmm. and things like that, which was really dope. And then, you know, they did load us. Okay. Um, it was, I didn't know it was limited time. Right. You know, considering, but when we first started rocking Air Force Ones, they were $59.99. We did the song, eight months later, they were 100 bucks. 
they were 100 bucks. And I'm talking about these mm -hmm. right there. They went from 59.99 to right. 100 to 100 bucks in eight months. You know what I'm saying? After the song release and all of that. Now we didn't get no residuals, so right. Nike, yo, holla at your boy. Every couple of years, the mm -hmm. debate comes up, and you've always said, "Listen, they were doing it in other cities." You even said that in St. Oh. Louis, it wasn't it wasn't what it was in like New York or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like in terms of making it mass regional, regional yeah. wasn't like that. Regional, you wouldn't in the Midwest and in the South, we weren't doing Air Force like that. Mm -hmm. We rock Reeboks like that. Yeah, like uh, this was mainly like a East Coast thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, don't get it twisted. They still wore ones and Air Force ones, but we wore the colorways. Okay. Okay. and things like that, you the know what I'm one, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, we was rocking them. But then once Air Force Ones came out, even if you look at our family, Cash Money at the time, they, they, they would do, do a Reese. Yep. We were on tour with them. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. Everything switched. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Stunner bought like a hundred pair. You know what I'm saying? A uh, like, hundred pair of white. A hundred pair of wow. white stunner. Okay. Like, we were on tour at the time and like my sister was styling for me and he, she would also help out Stunner and them. And she said, yo, your boy just bought like a hundred. So he switched <laughs> he over even. He just ordered like a wow. hundred pair of Air Force Ones. Interesting. Like, so, yeah, but I mean, that's family. You know what I Definitely. mean? It wasn't like they were boom, boom, boom. It's just the time was moving. And um, yeah, man. I want to talk about the video. It starts at Squad One and yeah. then like, it was too like small, and then did you go to Good Luck Shoe down the road, and the, and they helped do the video? Man, um, not well. Yeah, we started like that, and then it's, we built a storage room. Okay. Look, the stock in room. the back. Of, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More like the Nike type of thing, and then it just got bigger and bigger because we started just getting more people showing up. Um, it was supposed to be quick in yeah. and out, and before you know it, man, we had half of the Rams team there. Marshall um, Falk was there, right? Yeah, yeah. Ozzy like, Smith was in the video? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was amazing too, because, um, you know, he's one of my idols. Definitely. Did Nike send any shoes for that shoot? Um, yeah, okay. I think that at that time, now listen, at that by then we were the golden kids. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like we, but um, we weren't profiting. Got it. <laughs> product. It. We, you were getting we, product, we were but getting not product. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You were getting product, and you would think that everything that Nelly and the St. Lunatics did, mm. that we would we would be profiting like some other people that you okay. know. But yeah, don't. All right, <laughs> and then in the, you know, Fat Joe on Cribs, yep. there's some other hip hop sneaker crossover moments, but where do you think that ranks in the pantheon of hip hop sneaker crossover? I mean, first of all, it's a number one record. Yeah. You can't, how you, you take a, make a number one, you make a sneaker number one, and then you make the song number one. Everything else, that's it. Another pop culture moment, Dancing with the Stars, you work with the shoe uh -huh. surgeon, totally. and you're getting like these bespoke custom dance shoes that, you know, people were texting me, like my mom's texting me, I'm watching Dancing with the Stars, yeah. Nelly is wearing like Jordan dance shoes. Did you expect <laughs> it to blow up like that? No, but I, listen, I mean, <laughs> I pretty much understood that, um, that if we created something that was dope, it, it would definitely be talked about, but, yeah. You know, once they got into the outfits and all that, I was like, listen, I ain't gonna even front. A lot of this shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> um, nah, if y'all willing to compromise, yeah. we, we can figure this out, but I, got, I gotta do me yeah. or else, you know, it's not gonna happen. And they were over over the top with accommodating and however I wanted to play it, you know, they were very, very welcoming and mm -hmm. they just, was happy to have me and I was happy to, um, you know, try something different for a little bit. Definitely. Yeah, and the shoes, like <laughs> the, the 11s, the 3s, uh, I think I saw like a Freddy Krueger SB one. Yeah, man, um, Dominic, and I want to give a lot Killed of credit it. to him, you know, the shoe surgeon, he's, mm -hmm. he's an awesome guy, awesome person, man, and uh, his swag is off the chain when he gets into his mental of, of how to come up with different things. And a lot of those ideas were mine too as well, mm -hmm. but the collaboration part really came together and, um, when I first asked them, I said, yo, bro, they owe me about these shoes, but I can't, I can't do these. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they were sitting me, well, what about these? These are, I yeah. said, nah, these are the same shits. They just shiny. <laughs> I said, like, we're going to have to figure something out. Yes. And, you know, he was like, yo, you know, I, I can put that dancing shoe on yeah. the bottom of whatever you want. I said, no, you can't. He's yeah. like, yes, I can. I was like, crazy. Oh, we about to kill him. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. And, and we just kept coming up with different things, man the purple friends and family, Louis Vuitton, Virgil, oh, Air Force yeah. Ones that he sent to you. Oh man. And you know. In the safe right now. <laughs> uh, just, just like, what I really liked about that seating is like, it really homaged 
real Nike Air Force One wears and like yeah. such an amazing designer, obviously, such a, uh, what a big loss, but what was yeah, it like getting so those? I mean, well, definitely once, you know, he passed mm -hmm. and um, I condolences and strength go out to his, his family and, and close friends. And, you know, to be on that list and, I can't say that I didn't know I was on the, uh, on the list, yeah. but I didn't know I was on the list. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're yeah. still hoping until you get them. You right. know what I'm saying? You you just never know. Um, but to be on that list, man, was dope. And you said they're in a safe, like you're keeping them? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got, no, literally in the safe. But, you know, I got nephews and sons. Yeah. Everybody wore my size. And, oh, wow. And it, it's a civil war. They're trying to get into them. No, those, they bet not. Yeah, those, those. <laughs> well, they, we, I, we got a couple that they know. Okay. They, yo, yeah, don't do that. Another thing I want to talk about, your relationship with MJ, you know, you were close with him, oh, yeah. the, the Bobcats and Hornets, oh, but yeah. is it true that, like, some of your interactions, if you weren't wearing Jordans, he'll call you out on the spot? <laughs> is that true? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did that ever uh, happen? Uh, yeah, I had on, I think I had on, um, I had on Adidas, an Adidas track shoot okay. suit one time, and I came in and had my shell toes on with my suit, <laughs> and he was like, ah, ah. <laughs> Don't you come past that door, man. <laughs> so he's real. Man, get out of here. Man. Yeah. But no, you know what? My relationship with him is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is a goal of mine. This is, you know, I don't disrespect nobody. This is a god of mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, this is MJ. And like the way he has embraced me, just um, like family and always there for me. Time I want to talk, anything, he's always been there. And yeah, we joke. And he's awesome. he's one of the biggest jokers of really? all time. Yeah. And trust me, he knows he's MJ. He knows he's him. He's no <laughs> yeah. he knows he's MJ and he will remind you. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're gonna take home. Let's do it. Welcome in the store. What can we find you today? Um, any of these are pretty good. Okay. Take nine and a half, ten. ten well, definitely okay. nine and a half, ten in these. Yeah, definitely these. Okay, it's a good pick. The off whites, the Virgils. I like them Christmas babes too. Oh yeah. Let me fire them. Okay. And then um, I, I noticed you got some specialties over in that case, them earthships. We're going. We do. We're Special going store collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to definitely the earn those out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, doing all right? Yeah. Great. All right. Total going to be $1,176. There you go, buddy. All right. Appreciate it. You ain't putting nothing on there for yourself, did you? Nah, nah. Okay. <laughs> Check. Thank you, my good man. Mm -hmm. You're doing a good job. Doing a good job. <laughs> I want to thank you guys. Did you give me back my credit card? Yes, yeah, sure okay. <laughs> Have a good one. See you. Sure. Yeah, take it easy. Nelly came through, told some great stories. Thanks so much, man. And thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Got a bunch of new shoes. Great episode. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.